Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today it's Tip Tuesday. So today on Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you a little hack on how to make these fishbone earrings. And what you're going to need for this project are a couple of pieces of wire, around 20 gauge, 22 gauge. I'm using aluminum wire, it's just easier to bend. And you're actually going to need a yogurt lid or some kind of plastic like that, your tools and some scissors. So what we need to do is cut a triangle out of the uh, plastic lid. And so I'm just gonna take this here and cut about at that angle. And it doesn't really matter how long it is. We're not gonna use the whole thing. And there is our little triangle. And then put that aside for now. Take our two wires. This is my little jewelry hack. You guys know me by now that this is my favorite hack. And we put them beside each other. And then we're going to form the head of the fish bones. So this little bit at the top is going to be where you form your loops. So leave about an inch, inch and a half there. And then we want to bend this is going to be the head of the fish. And we're going to bend this down. So at least if you have this basic starting point done, your fish bones are going to be the same height. So about an inch, a little more than an inch down, we're going to take this and form the tail. Now if you find it easier to make a template for this, you can always uh, make a template out of um, a piece of wood and some nails. Uh, I might add it to my templates that I have that I sell on Etsy. I have a few templates on there uh, for the jig and for the DIY jigs. So we're just going to form the fish bones the tail of the fish bones at the bottom. So now we have our basic shape. So for sure they're gonna be the same size. We're just gonna pull them apart. Now this is the fun part and it could take a little bit of practice to get them both like the same uh, size, but you have the basic template. So you just wanna be sure to try to space your your uh, turns around this uh, around the same distance apart what i like to do to judge is, is i put the bottom of the triangle just below like this this little bend here we're going to hold it in place and very um, firmly hold it with your thumb we're going to take this and wind it around so hold it in place and wind it around and just you know, try to make sure it stays centered. If it goes off a little bit, it's not a huge deal. So, but keep track of how many times you turn it. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we've done seven times, and then we're going to be, see, see how it's, um, at this side here. I want to just do one more little bend here because how it turns out, and I'm gonna show you when I remove this. So we're gonna remove this. And so when it's at this side, that's where you want to stop this one. So we're gonna stop this one here and then you're gonna do a little bend here. Take your pliers and at the center point, what would be the center between that and that? Just eyeball it a little bit, or you can wiggle it around to see. Give this, help it out with your pliers. I just find it much easier to help it out with the pliers first. So give it a little bend. So we bent it like just a little bit there. Now you can hold this firmly in place and just push it to this side, okay? So already you have what looks like fish bones. And then what you want to do is eyeball it so it's about the same distance on both sides. So you bring that up and then you want to form a little eyeball. So all the eyeball is is just a circle. Just bring this around and push that to the side. And then I just, I'm going to help it out too with the pliers a little bit just so it stays centered. And bring this around here bend it to the whatever decide I think this I like this at the um, at the front it doesn't really matter you decide which side looks best for you to be the front we're going to push it there clip it and then we want to bank a loop at the top so just bend this to the opposite side do it around here like that and then wind it around give it a little clip 
So all you need to do now is open up your earring hook and stick the little fish bones on there. And there you have your pair of fishbone earrings. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to join my Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, I'll link it up below. It's a group where we share all kinds of our photos of our creations and inspiration for each other. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wire wedding cake toppers and unique jewelry. I also send out a monthly newsletter, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook, where I give a list of my supplies and materials and a few tips. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you the next time.